Okay, welcome back. I hope uh, you're all doing fine. Now, we already learned how to set up our R markdown file, how to put in components regarding the output, and how to load our data. Now, as it is, if we just go ahead and knit this, see what kind of results comes out. Taking quite some time. But yes, here's our output. You can see we only have our topics, our, our headings are, sorry. Uh, then we have uh, display. You can display the code with that code. Now, it is usually not necessary for us to display these just fills up the document necessarily so you can get you can correct this so we remove the word data remove these instructions to print then uh, i guess if we save that and delete it just give it some time Now, I always like to name my data files so that I can easily manipulate them, but uh, you can simply load them. Okay, here it is. So we have the code, but we don't have uh, the output. Now, you can also hide this particular piece of code so that it does not appear in our output. So we do this by simply calling upon previous function to say false so this would essentially run the code but not display the code within our output now in this particular video i want to talk about headings now the headings are placed uh, anywhere you want to let's say you are writing a report you have the introduction you have maybe literature review, just elementary one. All the results, we have discussions, then we have the con. Sorry, conclusions and recommendations. Okay. That's right. Now, uh, within the introduction, within that particular body, you want to write maybe the objectives and then uh, maybe a problem statement. Now, we know that these two are under the introduction. So what you want to do, then on the results, you may want to do a descriptive analysis, and then some potential analysis. Okay, so let's see how this will work. I want to put them such that they will appear in our table of contents, which is uh, right here. Now it's blank because we don't have headings. So it would appear here, so that you can click and go to those specific sections of a document. Now to do this, you just place a hash if you want it to be a main topic. Now anything below the main topic, make a double hash. Now to do the same with this one. And be sure just to space this, just give it a line also. So this will be a hash. Hash, double hash, double hash, hash. Let's just press this out. This will be a hash. Okay. So let's say maybe under objectives, you have uh, 
So we have uh, one thing like this. And yeah, anything other than what we have here like this. Oh, let's just put it realistically. We have a uh, major objective and define our objectives. Now what you want to do here is because these fall under subheading objectives. So we put three hash, hash marks. That will solve that. So go ahead and uh, hit that. Automatically when you need it will save your document. If you go ahead and need that. Uh, Output files. Sorry, so you see we have an output file and it's not in our, our table of content. Now we need to correct that, okay? So you put your hash and then give it some space. You need to put your hash and then give them some space so that engine recognizes that this is not a continuous prose you are not writing content but rather specifying that these are particular headings and subheadings so we'll wait for each to render it's almost done and there we go so you have the introduction notice quite large and then the objectives are small and so on and so forth so you can click through you can click through if we had a lot of content then we'll see it move down so I hope that is much clearer and maybe we look at uh, just writing text okay so you drive just write text normally Introduction part. Cement to produce the subject. To be discussed. That will do that. Okay, so. I hope that is clear and uh, do we do some more editing on our next video or we'll go straight to code and we can write this so when you want to add comments into your text into your code I mean so import our data Similarly, you can put it here. Let's see, we're importing our data. Your preference, your preference. Importing CMD file. Not rather importing, but loading. Loading CSV file. Okay, so that's it. So we'll get straight into data manipulation or rather the data set manipulation in our next video. Uh, hope to see you then. Have a nice one.